Hi, hello. What does all this symbolize to you? I don't know. Anything at all? Yeah, I think it's nice. It's yeah. nice? Yeah. Why, why is it nice? I don't know, because they it, it, it can express what they think. People can express it. Are you expressing what you think? No. Why, why are you at the Lovin'? Because I think it's fun and I get a good sense of community spirit I don't anywhere else. What? Do you think there's a love revolution going on? I hope so. Why do you hope so? Well, because, I mean, we're, we're just too... I mean, up to date, the world has been in such bad condition that love is a very good start to get it cleaned up, I think. Why are you here? Because I like lovin's. <laughs> are you a part of the love generation? Yes. What's different about the love generation? Oh, I don't know. The whole world just seems to be happy. I mean, every, when everybody's in love, it just everybody seems to be so happy here. Do you love me? Yes, I love everybody. Is it possible to love everybody? Yes. How come? How come people haven't loved everybody for 2,000 years? Because they've been mixed up. Do you think this is the answer? Yes. Do you take drugs? Huh? Do you take drugs? No. Would you ever take drugs? Yes. You would? Yes. Why? I'm, I'm experimental. Do you think this country, at this time, needs something that it hasn't got? Yes. What does it need? Love. The whole people have to know each other, you know? What about people older than, say, 30? Older people, do you think they can indulge in this too? Yes, they should. Do they? Well, I don't know if they do, but they should. What do you think older people think of all this? Most of them think it's ridiculous. Why do you think they think it's ridiculous? Because I don't think it can be done. You know, they don't think people can do it. Do you think you can manage to do this without the help of, say, grass or LSD? No. you think you need it? Yes. Do you take it? Yes. What does it do for you? I know myself better, and I, other people I know better. You're not just taking it for kicks? Do you think it expands your consciousness so you can love everybody? Not everybody. Who are those you don't love? Um, Narrow-minded people. A lot of these people admit that they use certain drugs like marijuana and LSD. Do you agree with that? When I hear this music, I know that you don't need anything else to turn you on. <laughs> what do you think of the love revolution as it, as it is at the moment? Do you think anything about it? Well, I can't quote exactly, but one of the Supreme Court justices once said that from a multitude of tongues come the truth. And when you're not willing to listen to what everyone has to say, you are denying yourself the ultimate truth. What are you going through at the moment? Do you think we need an interpreter? Oh, don't look too happy. Could you come around and smile into our camera? It's beautiful, isn't it? This is a young man. Could you possibly tell me your name? No, he can't tell me his name, but these two fellas, they're having a great time. They're at the love in here, and he's very hot, but he likes being hot. And behind those goggles, there lurks a sensitive creature, I'm sure. Would you agree with me on that? Do you think behind those teeth, there lurks? I'm from the World Organization of Lysanthropic Fallacious Wolf. I believe in hope. I'm delighted to meet you. I'm David Silver. I'm, um, wow. That's, that's nice. Um, first of all, explain to us um, what, in fact, you are doing. Well, I'm running for President of the United States on the Love, Art, Beauty ticket. You're a digger. What are you doing? I do. What do you mean? Uh, I do. I make love. I bring food to uh, starving spades out there in Newark, and that's what I'm doing here tonight. And we're going to have a be in there. And uh, uh, I love. I make love. Uh, I can really tell you about uh, my new religion we're working on. Tell me about your new religion. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's the True Light Beavers. Can you all see it? <laughs> He's number seven. <laughs> He's beautiful. Uh, true Light Beavers have two tenets. Uh, one is that uh, God is the absence of garbage. I thought it was a baseball team. Well, we, uh, we're working on that.
Well, I, I wish uh, I wish these uh, guys could explain what they're about more. Uh, I think it's kind of a put on, basically. Uh, that uh, you know, if you got something that you, that you're trying to say, I, I wish you could say it. See, hippies were created by the press. I mean, it was created from outside. It was it was a, a thing masked by the media, right? A love thing, a white thing, like the spade said. It's a white thing. I'm not a hippie. Hippies are fags. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's so different? about what you see under this long hair than what you see behind one of the cameras who are groovy guys like i played baseball i'm a boy scout my father was a scout master this is a riff man you know it really is i'm wearing my hair long because somebody else is and i want to please them right like brian epstein who is a started this long hair in England, man, in, for us. I'm talking about for us, in America. He brought, he brought John, Paul, Ringo, and, and quick. George. George. Right, <laughs> over here. <laughs> and, and I picked up on it because everybody else picked up on it. And that's the only reason I'm doing it. And this is a game. I'm having fun. They're uh, alienated from a lot of the things in American society, but they're very American, too, like, like you just said. You know, it, it's sort of the Boy Scout movement only, only one step ahead. It's uh, togetherness in McCall's magazine on, only in a, in a group. Who's stoned? Is anybody in here stoned? Stone, stone, yeah. I'm stone, yeah. man. Stone, 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 stone. stone. Oh, okay, maybe we found a common denominator amongst the hippies, whether you call it a movement or not. That's drugs. Okay. Free. Everything's yeah, free. free. Everything's free. I Where'd mean, you? I think we stand for the destruction of property. Uh, what will come out of the destruction of that's, property? That's, that's, that's pure Karl Marx. Are you communist? <laughs> no, well, am I communist? communist? I don't know. See, I guess in a way I Are am. because communist? We were oh. standing in Harvard Square passing out poems, and some cat come up and calls us a communist and punches us all in the mouth. So I guess I am a communist too, right? This medium destroyed the use of the word. I can't tell my girl I love her anymore because, mm -hmm. like, she's seen that in 500 John Wayne movies, man. You know, I love you, Samantha. Right, well, we're into yeah. another thing now. We're into well, a semantic no, you, thing. What I'm saying is, you can't use the word. It's so commercial now, man. Like, uh, it was it was blipping on the screen, and, it, you know, it's cool. That's a graphic thing, but it's going down too much now. Like, that's what they're arguing about. Like, what does it mean? It doesn't have a meaning anymore. Well, we've finally come down to a kind of equilibrium. That's all we've got time for tonight. Join Just us next week. My mother's Join us I next week at 9 o'clock. I don't really know what the show's about. It's a bit chaotic. But join us then. Good night. So that was pretty amazing television. I don't think something like that ever ran again. Now, it got yanked off the air one week. Gone. No more David Silver. In fact, everything like it was gone. We all thought it was because there was a sequence that he ran with his professor, Howard Zinn, a real lefty, who made a statement about Vietnam that was, America did it, America kills children, America's horrible. And at the end of that statement, David Silver says, I completely agree. That ought to have gotten him off the air. You could go so far during a war to attack America, but I don't think anybody was too comfortable in television with putting that on. But that isn't what removed David Silver. What removed David Silver was Nancy Sinatra. These boots are made for walking, tough, you know, her boots and everything. She's Nancy Sinatra. She's in all the hot pop shows. And David Silver makes a remark about her. The remark was based on some dancers that are on stage. And David Silver just casually says this. That was by Nancy Sinatra. I said that was by Nancy Sinatra, but it isn't really by Nancy Sinatra because she's got false hair, false nose, and she had her cheekbones raised, and she's got false boobs. That got it removed. Within a week, there ain't no more David Silver on television. I don't know, does Hollywood have more power than politicians, than the people with the money? Whatever the reason, David Silver was gone, and this era was over. I hope you enjoyed watching this. David Hoffman, filmmaker, if so disposed, I sure would appreciate you becoming one of my patrons. It's how I'm trying to make a living. I am www.patreon.com forward slash all in a day. Regardless, I thank you for watching and for being my subscribers. Bye-bye.